Hello all. Um, I thought since I can't find the time to write a tutorial, even though I prefer written tutorials, I would at least record the process of uh, me uploading a pre-made cover to the website. Um, and this here is a cover I kind of made because I wanted to play with the character I had created in Daz 3D and uh, ended up uh, making a portrait that I thought would make a really good um, pre-made cover. So um, here I have it. I have it sized. Okay, first off, I used a 6 by 9 size template. Um, the original is actually made on a 400 DPI template that I keep. Um, and if there's enough of a demand, I will be happy to upload it to the website for you to download for free. But, um, yeah, and uh, so I start with 6x9. It's the one that seems to be the best uh, overall. Um, the words look really close to the edges, because, but not too close because I obeyed the bleed area, which I know people are saying that with ebook covers you shouldn't have to worry about bleed area, but a lot of times those ebook covers get requests to become print size so that the author can also put them out for print, so you might as well just uh, cut to the chase and be wary of your bleed area. But uh, I have it sized for the website right now. This is my sample and let you see the size uh, using a 6x9. It is 400 uh, pixels wide and the rest just kind of falls in line as you know. I did do 100 pixels per inch, not 72. Um, 100 just seems to work best. Uh, for my purposes. So I have it here. So I'm going to go into my thing and I can see where it's all where I need to be. And so now I'm going to pre-made covers for you. Now uh, I'm already signed in, so obviously you sign in first, right? Duh. Um, now my dialogue is going to be uh, show some options that you're not going to see um, because I am the uh, administrator, but uh, the options I choose are ones that you will find. So <clears throat> at the very top of the website you'll see your little bar boutique pre-made covers for you with a drop down and apparently I need to update two plugins um, and then this little button new. Under new you're going to pick product. I'm picking product and it's going oh, so slow. La 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 do 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 there it goes. Okay. Add new product. What am I going to name it? I'm going to name it Her Highness, even though the folder's name is Face. Um, I'll probably end up renaming the folder. And now, because I want to imitate the layout of other ones that I personally have done, I'm going to open up Link. I'm using Firefox. I'm going to open up Link in a, a new tab so that I can get a template. I think I'll use Hot Spy in the City. That's one of my favorites. Maybe not. Okay, not that one. That one's not appropriate for what I'm doing here. You don't have to use a template. You you can um you can use whatever um, as long as the information is concise and um. And, and your clients will like it and you know you're not lying okay I'm just gonna use this because it's taking too long um so I'm copying this as my thing and I'm putting that first the description is a beautiful African American woman uh, poses for her romantic portrait I guess I'm not very good at um, descriptions. You're going to want your description to have keywords like beautiful African American woman because if somebody's looking for something that deals with uh, African American culture, um, yeah. yeah. She could also be Caribbean. Um, the problem is if I start putting too much it's going to become, so I'll say she could also be from, okay, Instead of also that sound right, she could be from the Car Caribbean that I never know how to spell. Please mind your spelling as you go. <laughs> uh, North America, the South 
American countries or even uh, 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 Panama. That's good enough as far as I'm concerned for the moment. Is it licensed for print or, or print on demand? Yes, this is my original artwork. So I will be providing a 6x9 print ready file and a 1400 wide pixel file, 1400 being the minimum that almost all of the places expect, but I'm going to raise it up to 1600 because I've heard a rumor that they're increasing that soon. So. Um, and you only get the cover image for spine and back cover. Please make arrangements on this case. As you saw with Hot Spy in the City, I had already made a, a template, and that's because I had originally designed it to be a wraparound. Um, spine and back cover, please make arrangements. And then uh, make changes to file. New. Not this time. Okay. And then over here, I'm going to put. This is the artist's original work. Usually I have like a longer disclaimer and I can't remember it off the top of my head right now, but it's basically it said it states that hey look, you know, this this was created originally by the author. It is an original piece, it's one of a kind. You have a very here it is. This is very important. If you are creating original artwork that um you want the author to know that they are getting a work that is one of a kind, that they do not have to worry about the work being imitated on other covers by accident or whatever. So you have this disclaimer, this image is an original piece and would be exclusive, yada, yada, yada. Um, that also gives you the right to charge a wee bit more because uh, a successful author is willing to put out that extra buck to make sure their covers are unique and stand out. Okay, um, obviously you don't want to overcharge, but you do have to keep this in mind that uh, undercharging not doesn't just hurt your other fellow artists and even your wallet. It hurts the authors too, because uh, I had one author. I only charged him five dollars for a job I did for him um, because I felt um, compassion for his situation and. He wasn't able to get anyone else to work with him after he decided I wasn't good enough. Um, he had problems, but um, the point is he couldn't find anybody who would do everything for five bucks like I was going to do. Um, so it's really important that you remember that pr uh, fair pricing is fair for everybody, not just you or your other fellow artists. So now we're going to add our media over here. And I'm choosing upload files, and then I'm going to find my sample. And I'm going to upload it. I'm not going to worry about alt text or anything, it's not important. I'm sorry, I never wrote what I did just now. Okay. So now it's in the listing to be found in case somebody wants to look again. And uh, then I'm going to I'm going to skip this except for catalog visibility right there, and I'm going to tell it have it in the catalog search and make it a featured product. Now I don't do this for all of my work. Like for example, let's say make a I make a um, a template for covers for Word, and generally the price for those on this website is five bucks. I'm not going to put it in the uh, in, in the featured area, which is that bar at the top of the website when you come in. I'm showing it to you now. Right there, this is where the featured products go. I would not put a template there. Um, this is where you want your work that people are purchasing to go. Uh, now I'm going to choose my product categories and it looks pretty general so I'll do that. Um, Probably it's it could also fall under a nonfiction, you know, except that that's a fictional character there. Uh, business drama it could also be a drama. Uh, I don't know what else it looks like necessarily. Maybe contemporary. I need to correct the spelling of miscellaneous. I see. Okay. Now, product tags. Now, these are really important. People are going to come in and they're going to be looking for something you know, something specific. So I'm putting African American. I'm doing them as two different words. 
um, it just it spreads things out. Now I'm going to say tan woman. Uh, hmm. Portrait. Maybe autobiography. Or maybe just biography. Okay. If I can think of more, I will come back later. Adding those now. Do not forget to hit add. <laughs> Now, it's, it's virtual. It's not downloadable. If you were uploading a template, you would say downloadable and upload the, and make sure the file was uploaded and ready to go so that you wouldn't have to worry about it. Um, double checking my things here. Okay. Uh, skew. You can do a skew. It's not necessary. I kind of recommend it. It kind of helps. So I'm going to say Highness 1. Regular price. Now, if this were a really, 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 really worked on piece like Hot Spy in the City took several things to make, so 80 bucks is fair, but let's go to Psychic over here. Psychic I made uh, using 3D, um, and it's completely one of a kind, and it took a lot of time and work, and uh, so I've got it priced accordingly because I am also charging for my time. Uh, Whereas this is a template, it'll do it yourself template so that if somebody decides that they want to make it themselves or they're on a, or they're on a limited budget, they can use this to make, you know, and it's got instructions inside. So it's only five dollars. Um, but by contrast, blue with a view over here was made using stock art. Uh, it's not, I mean, it's original. I'm going to do a whole lot of my stuff to try to be original, and I highly recommend that you do so too. Um, but it's not something that somebody else can't imitate. So I've got it priced accordingly $35. So over here, um, I'm taking into account that even though I did the artwork and it's original and I created the character myself, the whole works, um, you can see portraits like that everywhere. So I'm going to price it accordingly $45. You can schedule sales if you want to encourage people to come. I'm going to schedule a sale. Sure, why not? Let's schedule it from the 31st to the 2nd. And the sale price will be 35 Sure. I'm not going to have it taxable. Um, you can tax your stuff if you want. If you know that, if you know your tax zones or whatever, you know how it works. Um, but the norm is nobody really taxes and that might chase a client away. At least that's my philosophy. Um, so until it's zero rate. Uh, then I'm going to go over here and click on inventory. I'm going to tell it enable stock management because I do not want it to only, I only want it to sell once. And so I make sure it says in stock, allow back orders, do not allow, and then sold individually to make sure they don't accidentally hit two and buy two. Linked products isn't necessarily unless you want to play with that. Same thing with attributes, advanced, um, not really. Commission. Um, now, the system should automatically set the commission so that 9% uh, comes to the website to help keep it running. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't think you're going to have that option, but I, I would be able to come in. There's times that I've I've lowered the commission. It just depends. I've also had to raise it. It really just depends on uh, what's being what's going on. Um, but I, I tend to keep things at nine percent, which is uh, lower than what I found everyone else to be. I wanted to be fair while being able to keep the website on the web. <laughs> All right, now over here, if you have like a, a front, a spine, and a back, and all that kind of stuff, and it's more than one image, you can add them here up here by saying add media or you can use the add product gallery images tab. I only have the one image so I'm going to ignore that. Now I'm going to set product image and this is really important because if you don't it's not going to show on the first website and I'm going to choose the same image. Set product image and wait and there now it's ready. I'm looking over everything making sure nothing has been forgotten. Looks good. Now over here, post to Facebook or publish. I put in post to Facebook because I thought it wasn't posting because we have a Facebook page 
that uh, it actually has some followers. Dun, 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 dun. And uh, I would hit post to Facebook, and then it was posting twice. So just hit publish. Um, and if you have your own Facebook page you want to post to, um, then you can hit post to, post to Facebook. Let's see if it'll do it for me. I just lost everything. Okay. Do not hit photo. I'm going to take that out actually. <laughs> oh, I see. Firefox present prevented a pop up window. Oh. Well, you're supposed to be able to do it, but it's not necessary unless, you know, you can always um, play with that. Just out of curiosity because it's bugging me. Yeah, it's not going to let me. Okay, then. Oh, there it goes. Let's see here. I'm going to get an about blank. Waiting for Facebook.com. La 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 la. Sorry my computer is so slow. Um, but as you can see, it's really easy. All you have to do is uh, read the website as you go, and, and uh, you've got it. That's just, uh Okay, so now um, I'm pretty sure it says it's already added the product because I hit post to Facebook, so I'm going to double check by scrolling up and hitting here to get to the main page. I'm not seeing it, so it doesn't look like it was posted, so I'll tell it publish. And now I double check to make sure it went. And there you have it. It's in the featured products. It's there. It's easy peasy. It will post to the uh, Facebook page for the uh, followers of this website. We do have a few. Um, and then uh, if you have your own DeviantArt, I highly recommend that you also spread the word on DeviantArt. So now I'm going to my DeviantArt and I'm going to tell it submit. Well, you know how to do DeviantArt, but it helps to get the word around. It helps you to get the word out. And so I highly, 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 highly recommend it. Um, this website does get some traffic, but you want to really drive traffic. You you know, some um, cover artists have followers that are um, authors that are, will tell other people about the work, hey, this is available. And um, you really want um, your followers to know, hey, I've got this out. And uh, it would be good for everybody. It would help the website. and. Uh, I guess that's it. Uh, good luck.